We got we on? Hi folks, welcome to uh, Thursday night Thursday night live. This is class number twenty seven. Something we started in two thousand and sixteen. It's called Training the Hand Workshop. But in two thousand sixteen we incorporated our Purple Heart Project into it. So six times a year, uh, once a month, from April through to October, we bring seven combat wounded veterans from all over the world, far away as Australia, Ireland, Denmark, mostly from the United States and some from Canada. And we treat them to a six day hand tool workshop where they learn to, they develop the skills that would be required to build a piece of furniture as if it was 200 years ago. Um, we take care of all their expenses, we fly them in, we house them, we feed them. Each vet gets to take home three or four thousand, depending on whether you're talking Canadian or American, dollars worth of tools. Jack Lane and the Bench Brigade build them a bench and deliver it to their home. We've delivered, I think, close to 150 benches to date. So we had our first hour, we do, we do this live every second Saturday night as a way of fundraising. This is an expensive venture. And we, on the night before, on the week before the class starts, we do the one hour on the Saturday before, and then that allows us to spend an hour on the Thursday night, this is Thursday night. And we get to go around and talk to all these guys and just uh, introduce you to them so that you get to see uh, where your hard-earned money is being spent. We have both civilians and veterans. Interestingly enough, in this room of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, it's been 18 of us all week. Of those, there are seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 veterans. So a lot of the students, a lot of the civilian students that come are actually veterans themselves. So if you get a little panoramic view, everybody's dressed the same, including Ken and Jake. Ken, show off your new duds. New duds. Good for good. Moose over there didn't get the memo. So we're going to walk through the room and just kind of say hello to these folks, but I'll give you a quick brief on what they're doing. So we're a, we're a day off of where we would normally be. We spent a day and a half on dovetails. So today they learned how to take a piece of rough lumber and process it so that they had a reference face, an edge, two parallel edges, one squared up end. So we number them one, two, three, four. This will be five, and then we'll take it down to final thickness. And uh, get you a sense of what goes into building a piece of furniture when you're processing all this wood by hand. Here's an example. This is the first class that I taught back in 2000. And one, I think, or two, and this was built. All the pe all the parts, including the five pieces to the drawer, all were taken from rough and turned into a finished, dimensionally accurate piece of wood. So that when you put everything together, everything fits. So, uh, is anybody wanting to raise their hand and say, "Rob, me, me, me"? Well. They're all so modest. Let's start right in the middle. So I haven't had a hard time remembering this chap's name because it's Jake. And I spend half of my day saying, Jake, Jake. Different Jake. Different Hi, Jake. Jake. I'm going to ask you to hold that close to your mouth so they can hear you. So out here in the YouTube world, there's usually three or 400 people watching. Hopefully oh, some of you are related to. So this is, gives you an opportunity to uh, tell the people that are watching, and a lot of them are wounded vets, and many of them have come because what they saw here. So I, I would like you to speak to your fellow brothers and sisters in arms. I would also like you to uh, tell the general population what an experience this has been. Don't forget about the food. And uh, if you have family, I'm sure you want to say hello to them. So yes, um, who you are. Who you are where, where, and your, a little bit of your service, whatever you're comfortable in telling, and... Sure thing. 
Um, so my name is Jake Province. Uh, um, I live in North Carolina. I grew up in Kansas City. <clears throat> I've been a soldier for 26 years. Uh, I'm transitioning into retirement now. I, um, I learned about this program through my therapist, um, through my behavioral health specialist um, in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And uh, this experience for me has been absolutely incredible. I underestimated it. Um, I definitely underestimated the food. It's sunny when I get home. I apologize. I'm going to have to get on the treadmill for a few days. Um, <laughs> Days? Probably weeks. Um, I'm standing beside you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the camera catches this right. up here. Uh, but I'd like to say hi to my son, um, Isaac, James, and Levi, my sons, and then my daughter, uh, Ellis, um, and then obviously my wife. I love you guys very much. Um, but yeah, I, I, I came up here not really knowing what to expect, and it's been completely over the top. Uh, the food uh, has been incredible, but for me, really, the biggest experience, uh, the thing that I'm going to take away from this is um, I, I learned how to sharpen my fingers. Uh, I did a <laughs> real good job of that there at the beginning. Um, and, uh, but what I really love about this program is I love the people that are here. This is a special place, and um, it's really kind of difficult to explain, but for me, um, it, it allows me to see this this project that Rob has up here is um, it's kind of overwhelming in that there's a lot of healing that's going on up here. I mean, they're not therapists or whatever; they're woodworkers, but um, we're healing as veterans up here, and um, it's very neat. It's very um, awe-inspiring to hear the stories from the other vets, um, and. You know, I, I can't say enough about it, you know, like I really, it's hard to put into words what I've experienced, but what I will say is that I will take this experience with me for the rest of my life, and um, the peace that I'm finding, honestly, through a plane that goes across the board is incredible. That sound, there's something therapeutic about it, I don't know what it is, but... Um, I really wanted to say thank you to everyone who was able to make this possible for us, and uh, especially for me, I, you know, I think it's more than I deserve, and I'm completely humbled and, and uh, gracious for the experience. So thank you, Josh. Show us the dovetail that you are most proud of. Oh, okay. Um, so this is my. Oh, that's your dovetail, I believe. No. I stole that as an example. Um, so we caught you. <laughs> the first is that the one you want to show off? Yeah, this is the, the the other one I didn't do a good job on, but this dovetail is my first dovetail. You know, I, honestly, ever I, ever in my ever. life. Yeah, I grew up like looking at fine woodworking. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. So you knew what a dovetail was before you came? I did know what a dovetail okay. was. Okay. I just didn't think it'd be possible for me to actually make one, um, but I was, and uh, with a good teacher. And, uh, and some help. And Luther made that cut, right? Luther did make that cut. Um, I, did, I probably shouldn't say that on like national. TV. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you okay, should. yeah, you, Luther made that cut. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I'm not taking the. So you guys can give him a hard time about Yeah, you don't need to take the heat for his. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luther's been fa fantastic. He's, he's, uh, he's awesome. I love that guy. He's been really helpful. Right, arm, right hand man. Yep. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it. I, I don't do real well on TV, so <laughs> well, then I'm surviving yeah. it. Let me take your pain away. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And you Pleasure. do deserve it. Thank you. You do deserve it. Okay. So let's let's drift over here. So this guy's been our friend for a long time, since he was just a young fella. <laughs> this is the moose. And he does a really nice thing. Every time we do this, he brings a whole bunch of dead cat sweaters. I'll tell you about that later. One for each one of the vets. And he's, uh, he's got to leave early tonight, so I'm going to ask him to uh, take the mic and take right over. Hey, folks, got a little presentation for you. Rob, got a little presentation for you. Compliments of Moose. So if you'll just give me your attention for a second. I'm sure you won't mind getting some more presents. Whoops, sorry, Moose. 
So every uh, every work, workshop, I uh, like Moose to. In. Every workshop, I like to uh, do my part, help things out, and uh, make you guys enjoy this uh, process better. And uh, I donate these every year. And uh, my sneaky little Gina gets your sizes and. Uh, we come swooping in. So, without further ado, it's it's uh, it's one of the most enjoyable things I do all year, every time. So, so the name is actually bagpipe. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm so not kidding. So <laughs> much. You just, uh, bagpipe just changed instruments to banjo, but uh, no, no, he's no, banjo in the U.S. Shot. Here he's ba his That's bagpipe. Canadian name. But, oh, uh, because right. they don't have banjos up here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's my kind of present right there. There you go. It should That's keep a you dead cat sweater. Can I wear this and not get in trouble? Uh, not tonight. <laughs> it's kind of like a cult here. It's very serious. <laughs> yeah. I got two. Uh, CJ. Two, in, two initials here. CJ McIntosh. That sounds very like you, Scottish. Uh, yes. There you go, CJ. Thank you very much. Thanks for your service. And another large Drew Hillstorm. Well, we call him Pierre. We call him Pierre. Pierre. Seriously. Seriously. Oh, that, uh, His name is, that makes, that oh. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very, very much. Hillstorm. But, so, so the special connection here is this is, this, he grew up, he and Jake Troll are best friends growing up. Oh, great. They play hockey together. He was supposed to play with us, yeah. but he came up with this lame excuse about breaking his collarbone oh, yeah. last oh, week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you play through that stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Should be in the infantry with a name like Hillstorm, but yeah. Jake Province. Yes, sir. That's the, it's beautiful. The star. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This is Charlie. Not the one we know. <laughs> Charlie. Thank you, sir. And there's enough material in this to make two sweaters. This is Chris. <laughs> Christopher. Chris? Just a little fella. Yes. I, uh, I show a tiger for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it, yeah, was, it was a big, <laughs> really big cat. <laughs> Another Chris. And Chris, Chris over here. Oh, no. Thank you. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. Vietnam vet, Moose. Yeah. Vietnam vet. Yeah. Right there with you. Right there with you. Age wise. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for your service. Really Ken. And I really enjoy doing this for you guys. Thank you, Moose. Thank you, Moose. Well, if Gina did it, they would be. Thanks, Moose. There you go. Good luck tomorrow. Let me know what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You take that. I'll hand them to you. Okay. So. so for everybody else, right? Yeah, for all the other for the other students. We have a Rob Cosman, my hand tool coach. I've been Cosmanized shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Ed? Where's Ed? Here he comes. Thanks a lot. That's Dr. Ed. Dr. See you, Moose. Thank you very much. Dr. Tony? His name's really California. We just call him California. Good <laughs> Tony. Awesome, thank you. Right, Rob. Right behind us. Right behind us. The other right behind us. Thank you. Paul. Englishman. Limey. All the way from England. Thank you. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Oh, Canada. Todd. Langley. Langley, yeah. Thank you very much. Canadian soldier. Carly. But we need to mention that. So Carly, how many years? Thirteen. Thirteen years, Canadian vet. Air Force Intelligence. Air Force Intelligence. Thank you, Carly. Inya. 
This is a record. This is the first time we've ever had a 21-year-old female in the class. 21-year-old period. 21 year old here. I asked her, I said, I said, you really came here to hang out with old men, learn woodwork? And she goes, I came for the food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we miss anybody? Hope not, because we're out of shirts. Oh, I need that, Ken. All right, let's resume. Uh, unless I'm told otherwise, I'm just going to keep coming forward. Carly? So I, I need you to hold this fairly close to your mouth because of all the background noise. Okay. Like so, yeah, that's good. So there was a bunch of people behind that camera. So talk to that. So who you are, where you're from. Say hello to anyone you want. Give them an overview of the week. So even though you're a vet, I need you to talk from, actually, you know what? You need to talk to the other vets and tell them a little bit about how you got here. Okay. Canadian vets. Canadian vets. Uh, my name is Carly Lewis. Um, I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'd like to say hi uh, to my partner Amanda, um, who's at home right now. This week's been a bit of a blur um, because there's been so much to absorb, but it's been, you know, time really flies when you're having class, and that's what we've been having. Like everyone here has just been having full throttle fun with you. Um, as for the Canadian vets, I'm here because I was medically released and I, I get this course covered. However, um, there's an education training benefit that's available to all veterans of the Canadian Armed Forces um, as long as they claim it within 10 years of their release date after 2006. Um, and this education benefit covers 5,000 to 6,000, I think now, um, for short courses, such as hobby courses like this one. So if you're interested- And they actually mentioned woodworking, didn't they, in yeah, that description? So there's a few factors and criteria that you need to meet, but go on the uh, Veterans Affairs Canada website and plug in uh, education training benefit and the hobby course is what I'm talking about. Awesome. How's the food? Phenomenal. Yeah, best. As, good as, the, as good as the, the Air Force? <laughs> better, way better. Yes. How's the woodwork? Hello, did, uh, can you get your dovetail out? The one that you're most proud of? I was actually really, really impressed. You'll, you'll, you'll see this. Okay. Which mom number was this? That was number, number one. Number one? So had you ever cut them before? Never. Okay, so have a close look at this. And I'll, do, I'll turn the other side over. So this is Carly's first ever dovetail. That's impressive. Very impressive. We'll give it a 94. 94, oh, Jake, you're generous. Yeah, it was super fun. Yeah. Um, so you're coming in, you're coming kind of, you're taking a civilian spot. So talk to the civilian world. Mm -hmm. Woodworkers in general, if you, want to, if you want to improve your skill, what benefit do you get from coming here? In other words, have you learned anything? Oh, of course. And so I'm really interested in the why whenever I look into something. Um, and when it comes to woodworking, the why dials down to what is wood, how it grows, how that affects how you work it. Um, even something simple as, it seems simple as making sure a surface is flat. It's so intricate, so complex, and there's so many different details that you need to be considering at the same time. Um, so if you're interested in woodworking at all, and you want to take your skills to the next level, that's your line, then yeah, I would recommend this course. You can large. borrow it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Appreciate what you did for our country. And now go <laughs> enjoy your woodworking. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go up over here. We'll go try to catch the, go across the road like this. Rob? <laughs> so Rob is here as a, as a civilian, but he too is a U.S. veteran. So you hold that fairly close to your mouth so they can hear because of all the background noise. Just give them a brief on who you are, where you came from, why you got here. Anything you want to say about the food? Because somebody said we undersell or we don't. Todd? What did you say? We don't. What, what don't we do about the food? You, you undersell. We undersell the food. Yes. So, fix that, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Robert Wrightus. I'm from outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 
Um, first of all, I'd like to say hi to all uh, my friends and family back at Bella Vista. I uh, miss you guys, and we'll be done on Saturday. I should be home by Sunday or Monday. Um, I signed up for this course basically to learn uh, a little bit more about dovetailing. Um, I do have a workshop, uh, but I really wanted to work on my hand work skills. Um, and through the internet, uh, watching YouTube videos, um, I came across Rob. Um, not only in his own videos, but in other people's videos, they mentioned him. Um, and then I've been trying for about two years to get into the school um, off of his website. Uh, and as far as the food goes, uh, you'll come for the school, you'll stay for the food. <laughs> Show me your best dovetail. Okay, I have a couple here. Um, which, um, one, which one? Which one's? Which one do you think's the best? I think I'll go with four. Number four. Five, and how five was a one. It was actually pretty good because I fixed it. It was a mistake, and I uh, fixed it. Uh, but I am the. I think I'm the fastest dovetailer here because I've done five where most people have done one or two. Okay. Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Thank Speedy Gonzalez. And also a retired police officer too. Yes. Right. Yep. Thank the blue. All right. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. Really? Oh wow. Hey, we've raised eight thousand dollars already between Friday night and tonight. Oh, wow, that's impressive. I, for, I So this guy's Canadian, and uh, he's a uh, he's a Canadian brother. Todd, take this. Yeah. Tell them anything you want to tell them. Sure. You're talking to some, I, I really want you to address the civilian population and tell them why they need, why they should come and be a part of this. Yeah, so I'm a civilian. I've, I've never served. It's, uh, it's been an honor. He's got to be a little bit side. closer because a lot of background yeah, noise. It's been an honor to work side by side with these uh, veterans, learn their stories, and get to know them. So I've more than enjoyed my service. I didn't know what to expect, but it surpassed all my expectations. So I want to say uh, hi to Wyatt and Whitney and Lincoln and Kenna. And, uh, you got a Lincoln? Got a Lincoln, yeah. We have a Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln and Kenna are in the Netherlands. Oh, yeah? And Wyatt and Whitney are in Calgary. They're just outside of Calgary. I got four in Calgary. And I want to show uh, Whitney something quickly. And that's here you go, Whitney. We're making paper. <laughs> I thought you were going to write a note on it. No, no. I showed her a, a, a pile of these and she was amazed. So that's what we're doing. We're making curly wood. Pretty cool, eh? So, so um, Todd also is probably got the best dovetail. Can you want to grab your. <laughs> so. And this is another impressive factor. He's never done this before. Yeah, so here's something interesting. I, I have worked with wood for 49 years. I did the numbers last night. And I've never cut hand cut dovetails before. And this was my second attempt. So I'm real proud of this. Pretty impressive. That's awesome. I got you to thank for that, Rob. Well, I dare say you probably contributed. A little. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. That's wonderful. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Yeah. Likewise. We're not done. Yeah. We're not done. Oh, yeah. CJ. So this is CJ. I've got to hold it really close. Hey. Tell them who, who you are. I'm CJ McIntosh. I'm from Ohio. Service? Um, I was in the United States Marine Corps in around 2005 to 2009 and uh, got this great opportunity to come up here and learn from the best and uh, it's been very challenging but it's very rewarding and um, I'm very new to this type of work but I'm looking forward to what I can do in the future but it's going to take some practice. Food? The food is, <laughs> I told the girls that were cooking it, the food is probably the best I've ever had in my life. And I was telling Rob that I need to send my wife up here for a week, even though I love her. <laughs> uh, speak to your fellow veterans that need to be here. Um, vets, you're not alone. Um, we, we know what it's like. And this type of stuff is anything that you're working with your hands, something to keep your mind occupied. Um, 
this is a very, very good program. I would encourage anyone, especially veterans, to do this kind of work. Um, this is a good program. I wish I had better words, but I'm on the spot. Did you say hello to family? I did. I said, hello, Carrie, my children, Jacob, Dakota, and Taylor. I uh, love you. I really miss you. Don't get a whole lot of time to talk to you all here. But uh, I'll be home before too long. So <laughs> hopefully I can put some of this stuff to work. Last thing I'm going to ask you, there's a lot of people, the people that are watching have really been the ones behind us ever since we started this. So these are the ones that have made it possible for us to do this. So a word. I would like to thank everybody that allows this to happen. Uh, I did not expect I would be able to be here and do something like this. And I'm sure that uh, I speak for a lot of people, <laughs> probably everybody whenever it comes to that. Uh, it is from very, very depth of my heart. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you being here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, somebody was here. Oh, wait, we went, we went, we went right by. Paul. Hello. Paul. Very good accent. Keep, yeah, this wasn't it. Yeah, <laughs> I've been it working was. on it. Good yeah, effort. Hold this. Yeah. Keep it fairly close just because of the background yeah. noise. So uh, take it away. What am I taking away? Well, you can say hello to your family. You yeah. can uh, tell people how wonderful Jake has been and Luther. Your, tell your wife about Luther coming over to spend a few months. Oh, yeah. It's not happening. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm from the UK. I've flown over for specific, just for this course, actually. We've had a 10-day trip all in all. Um, I heard about Rob through YouTube, I'm guessing three or four years ago, and uh, I've been trying to get on the course for about a year. So quick. So I'm going to really just... Uh, uh, I know who it was too. Did you want to come over and see a little Paul's wife and you know what you, what you like to eat for breakfast and... No. No? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Guess we're still alive already. <laughs> show, show us a dovetail. You got a dovetail? Okay, so this is number three. Each one's slightly imperfect, but it gets better in a different way. So I can bring them all, all those all those improving skills together, it will, it will definitely work. So I wouldn't have figured that I could get this good. Just because just of noise. I wouldn't have figured that I could have achieved this quite so quickly. So it just shows that with more practice, I'll be able to turn out some really solid ones. And I mustn't forget to talk about uh, Luther, of course, because he's just reminding me behind the camera. <laughs> How was yeah. the food? The food. Did, did you mention that? I didn't mention the food. The food, so I, I knew the food had a reputation for being pretty good, and I thought it would be good, but it's been, it's, it's ex exceeded my expectations, and I did have very high expectations, I have to say. I, I have very high, a very high gauge, so it's been fantastic. I mean, who goes away for a week's woodworking course and then has steak and lobster on Friday night? It's right. just, uh, Is your family listening tonight? They are. Is well, they, might, they, they won't be up now. It's half past midnight. Is your wife there? Helen. Is she watching? Like I just said. She won't be up now. <laughs> oh, I just want to, I just, Helen, no, Helen, when I come over and visit, I want some bangers and some curry and fish and chips. So y'all remember that because he's invited me over. I'm coming over with the my reason, dog. The reason we've got two ears and one mouth <laughs> is so we can listen and then talk. You can hear me right good, can't you? <laughs> I can hear you, I just can't understand you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, the food's been excellent. It has been excellent. And, it, and also, because they do it on site, we spend almost no downtime faffing about best going part. to get food, taking time out of the workshops. And the other thing I would say, that well, I knew it was going to be long, but it's 15 hours a day. I mean, you don't have to stay, but it's 15 hours a day, six days solid, which is like... That's like a 15-day a, a course in most woodworking schools, I would guess. Yeah. So that's been fantastic. I would also add that I knew I was going to meet, um, I knew the vets would be here, and I knew it would be uh, quite an eye-opening. I knew I was going to meet people that I'd never experienced um, before, but it's been very, extremely humbling, extremely humbling. And uh, I don't, I haven't quite processed it yet, but it's very, uh, it's, well, what can I say? It's been, it's been great. It's been fantastic. Good. 
Thank you. Okay. Appreciate you coming that distance. Right, thanks. It's wonderful to have you. Yeah. No Keep it up. Two days CJ left. One more like thing, Rob. I, got, I have to thank uh, Andy Whitaker. He was actually the oh, one yes. that uh, told me about all this. And I know you're watching because you reminded me that I forgot to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> so, he must have gotten that from Luther. That's the advantage of going live. Yeah, so I love you, brother. Hey, you thank forgot you very everybody. much. I, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Good. Thanks, CJ. <laughs> Oh, oh, where'd he go? Is he up there front? Where's Pierre? Pierre. Well, maybe he'll resurface. So this is Charlie. Charlie, just keep it fairly close to your mouth so that they can... Uh, Okay. They can hear you over the over the no road noise. Good evening, everybody. My name is Charlie Morales. I'm out of South Central Indiana. Uh, Army? Marine. I'm in the, well, I'm retired from the Marine Corps. Uh, nobody's ever, ever really ends, being a, ends up not being a Marine. So that being said, uh, I was actually introduced to Rob Cogs, Cogsman's uh, work up here about a year ago from a fellow service member who went through the class previously. Um, so I got everything together, got my package made up. Who was that, Terry? Um, Brandon Beach. Um, he was from the, July. the 82nd Airport. Yeah. July of 2000, what? 22. 22, 2022. But uh, so far, uh, Rob's been teaching us a lot, been working us like a dog. and. Honestly, I couldn't ask for anything more. This is, this is a great experience, and I really appreciate it. the opportunity to be able to come up here and uh, participate in it. Speak to your fellow Marines, fellow fellow wounded soldiers that may also benefit. Please. So, I'm not the type of person that really feels comfortable going to uh, therapists and psychiatrists and everything else to take in and work out my issues. I'm more of a hands-on type person, so when I get a little frustrated or feeling out of sorts and whatnot, I tend to take them on around the backyard and either do some yard work or end up in the garage cleaning something or rough building something that I have most likely don't need. But uh, I'm hoping to get out of this uh, ability taking at least some, how shall I say, refined work on some of the projects I've been meaning to get to but failing miserably at. Uh, but being here, getting the instruction and rolling right into hands-on work, it, it's done wonders. It's, it's an excellent time. So if you get approached by somebody that's been up here to Rob's shop, jump on as soon as you can. You won't get it at all. You got a depth to show off? I do not, actually. You, you do not? I we're, do not, not. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. You have two more days. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate you being here. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. So this is our rising star. Hi, my name is... You have to care. Oh. You're close. Hi, my name is California and... Real close, just because of the noise. There you go. What should I say? Well, you can start by telling them how wonderful Luther is. Luther is amazing. He has a great personality. And he's, really, he's really good at showing me how to do things when I'm confused, which is often because until two days ago I had never held a saw and I have now made three dovetails. Which one's, your, which one's your best? Well, I'm stuck in between my first one. So can you can we say that you're not 30 and you're not 15? You're somewhere in the middle? Yeah, I'm 21 years oh, old. Oh, there you go. So 21-year-old young lady. I asked her one day, I said, you really want to come here with a bunch of old men and study woodworking? She goes, I came for the food. <laughs> Her dad's here, so he pops in every day. He came up with her. So that's pretty remarkable. Very remarkable. Um, third one is pretty good also. Yeah. Which one would I choose? I think the first. Well, first is always, wow, that was the first one you've ever done? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is, that's very impressive. So you have friends that you think might want to come here? Maybe. Talk to them. Oh, um, Do you have to say hello to anybody too? Oh. What? Do you want to say hello to anybody? Anybody that might be watching? Um, hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here in an hour. He'll be here soon. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mia. Having a lot of fun here. You should come with me next time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How has it been working around these soldiers? That's the last thing I want to ask you. I like it. I think it's good company, and I love hearing their stories. It's very inspiring. Um, glad to be here. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. I shake my hand. Appreciate okay. you being here. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. So we we always had the littlest guy in the class at the back. <laughs> But since we couldn't find him, he put Chris here. <laughs> yeah, nice and close. Hey, uh, Chris Pavlich uh, from uh, Pittsburgh, North Carolina. Um, I was, uh, I am retired Air Force. Um, I was a attack team here. I retired out of Fort Bragg, whatever it's called, Fort Liberty. Um, I'd like to say hi to my uh, beautiful wife, Kirsten, my three children, uh, Cecilia, Lucy, who just broke her wrist two days ago. Oh. Kids always break their bones when their daddy's away. And of course, my little guy, Will. Um, yeah, I, this has been great. Um, you know, I, I was a little different story, I think, than pretty much all the other veterans here in that uh, I was a fan before I even uh, kind of knew about PHP or something, nothing I really considered. Um, she doesn't know it, but my wife kind of convinced me to put a package in, um, picked up first time, so very fortunate and very... Uh, uh, very appreciative uh, of that, of course. Um, it's been everything that uh, that, I, that I think it was. You know, watching these all the old ones in the past. Um, I know the question's coming, but the chow here is amazing. Yeah, you were about um, a buck eighty when you got here, weren't you? Uh, not quite, not quite, but uh, definitely packed on a couple pounds. Um, <laughs> that's gave me a, a three X. You know, so appreciate that. Um, but yeah, the food's amazing. Um, but getting back to the point, you know, like I, I anticipated mostly, you know, the woodworking, something that, I'm, that I was already kind of into. Definitely not hand tools, um, but it's something I definitely uh, wanted to get passionate about, and you definitely instilled that in me. Um, but uh, it's it's a lot more than that. Um, I realize um, right now, day five, in that. Uh, it's not just the woodworking, and uh, we go on and on and on about what actually happens here. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I, I'll just say this to you because you deserve it, um, Rob. In that uh, you definitely want me, want make me want to become a better man through everything you do, um, the way you act, you carry yourself. Um, what you do for us, what you do for uh, a lot of different aspects as a patriot. Um, so, thank you for that. Um, You're welcome. So, uh, Talk to your fellow vets that need to be here. Please. Yeah, so I have convinced two, yeah. two guys after you called me. Um, I was driving my son when, when I got the phone call. Um, kind of lost it with him. Uh, really not tell anybody. No. But, uh, uh, yeah, after that, I convinced uh, a guy I work with who's, who's a big, um, a close family friend to um, submit packages. And I'm going to, for sure, I bet it. So, hopefully uh, that comes to fruition for them. Uh, but, you know, for anybody that's you know, considering doing this, I can't tell you, you know, if you're even just... Just slightly in the world. I don't even know about the world work. just happen to be watching this for free. Uh, definitely worthwhile. Um, uh, for the number of different things I've already mentioned. Um, you know, the skills you pick up, but other aspects uh, that, 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 you, that you get out of this. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's about all I got. But, well, that, that was a lot. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here, Chris. Yeah. Great example. Thank you, brother. What's that, Mike? What's the matter? 
Okay, where's the dock? Here he is. You got it? Yeah, just go. Just having to change mics so that we can hear him. Okay. So this is Ed, retired? Semi-retired. Semi-retired. Uh, radiologist. Hold that up close to oh, your mouth. If you can radiologist. Uh, basically, I uh, wound up coming here because of uh, Rob's reputation, and I've, I've consumed a lot of his video over time, um, and I wanted to try to at least see if hand tools might be suitable to extend my woodworking experience. But there's two things. I've heard people talking about the food. No question, excellent. It's a long, arduous day, but you will learn a tremendous amount in a short period of time. What I wasn't expecting, though, is being here with the veterans. You know, I'm, I'm just beyond the age where I could have been drafted, and I never wanted to be. And to hear the stories and the bravery and the, and the turmoil that these people have experienced and triumphed over has been very moving. Uh, Vets are not anyone that I have any experience being around or listening to. It's tremendous just listening to them talk to one another, never mind talking to me. And I've just really enjoyed my time here. Awesome. You got a dovetail you want to show off? No, I don't. <laughs> I really do not. You got two days left. <laughs> I, I mean, they, better, they better Chris, come out better. Come back. I, I forgot to look at your dovetail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. He's got a good dovetail. Good bodyguard, too. Yeah, perfect. Perfect what? Body hair? No, I said he's got a good bodyguard with you behind him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think we just keep bumping each other. Oh, Thank you, Ed. Yep, you're welcome. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. So, I did, we, uh, yeah. Keep so, that high, and then yep. let me let me uh, hold this up for good for the, Absolutely, the camera. Yeah, this is number three. Um, number one was nice, too, if you wanted to show that. That was my Frank and uh, the one you saved for me. Oh, when, <laughs> so if you want to show that, <laughs> yeah, I have a propensity of uh, wanting I to cut my tails. Note. So, uh, not that one. It's this one. Oh, that was a, yeah. that was attempt this number one. two. So that's one. Uh, a little surgery. Oh uh, no, it's actually yeah, yeah it is. That's right yeah, right there. That little guy. Right don't there. worry about that little guy. Um, but yeah, you saved it, and I appreciate that. Uh, Give me a lot of confidence. <laughs> well, we caught it in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. Uh, let's go over here. What's the matter? Let's go over and talk to California. California. How you doing, hold that Rob? up. Hold that up. Oh, wait a minute. Hold that up close just because all the background noise. Hey, Rob. Tell them where you're from. Uh, from Los Angeles, specifically Torrance. So, um, Torrance. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like 20 miles southwest of downtown LA. So. How did you get here? Not how did you physically get here? How did you find us? Um, so I volunteer at a local community college in their woodworking program with the students. I'm so always looking for little tips, tricks um, to help out in the woodworking. Um, but we primarily use uh, a lot of power tools. So I want to learn more of the hand tools because sometimes students need just that a little a little adjustment, a little help here and there. So um, I figured this would be a great program. I've seen a lot of your videos online. You, everything's YouTube nowadays, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, so I've yep. seen a lot of your videos. Uh, I, I've uh, got a lot of your tools, so I could try to follow along with your videos. Um, but I felt I'd need a, little, need a little more help, so I saw you had your uh, online or your in-person training, so signed right up, got in here, um, having a blast, learning more than I thought I would in a few days. Crap, which... Show us the one that you're most proud of. Uh, this one right here, this was my second attempt. So, so when you say second attempt, have you cut them before you came? No, this was the second one I made okay. in class. I never did a hand dug This is This before. is very impressive. We call Tony California just because he's from California. Yeah. So we have to have a nickname. Everybody yeah. has to have a nickname. That's awesome. That, that, that's really good now that I'm looking at it even closer. Yeah. Um, the food was okay? The food was beyond fantastic. Beyond fantastic. Okay. At least five pounds gained. Not going to lie. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't go back for seconds. I did. Tell, uh, talk to the other yeah. civilians that we need to come here and be part, not so much the financial part, 
but they, they create an atmosphere that allows these vets to relax, make friends, and feel a sense of camaraderie outside of the military that they've left. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I wasn't really thinking about that much when I came here. I knew about the program, but when I came here and talked to all the vets and talked to, uh, you know, just everyone and hearing their stories, I got Jake, he's my battle buddy now, as we told me. So it, you, you build this personal relationship with people and you don't, a lot of people don't see it. You don't think about, you know, the effects that, you know, a lot of the, the veterans go through from the, from the conflicts and everything going on. Um, and you can see how much it impacts them and affects them. So, you know, I tell everyone they should support, you know, the, the Purple Heart program. It's a great program for veterans, and, you know, they've done their service to, to our country. We should do a service to them. So, you know, I've, uh, I'm a firm believer of supporting, you know, those in need, and, and uh, it's a great program, Rob. It's impressive what I've seen here. Well, we started from uh, humble beginnings, but it, I agree, it's grown, and uh, yeah. so many people involved, they keep saying my name. Yeah. There's Luther, there's Jake, there's Ken, there's uh, uh, Sean, uh, Sean Shame Fame, yeah. and then my wife in the kitchen, and yeah. Anita, and my youngest daughter Chloe, and my mother-in-law Eleanor, yeah. and Brad, and Megan, and Erica, yeah. the list goes on and on. This is a whole lot of, Gina. Yeah. I said Jake. There's so many Jakes. You can't swing a cat around here without hitting a Jake. So yeah, so yeah it's, it's, it's a amazing. big effort. Yeah. We actually brought it back to New Brunswick yeah. because we wanted our family to be able to participate and, and get this. There, I mean, I tell people, I said, this is, we do this and we are the biggest beneficiaries. Learning to be around, being around these soldiers in particular and befriending them is just a, it's a bonus in life. Yeah. The heartfelt stories really were surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, well, uh, not always easy to hear, but yeah. you need to be the uh, ears for them. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, I'll move Rob. on. You yeah, go back to work. Uh, Thank you for being here, yeah. California. Be good. <laughs> now, this guy's name, he has a special Canadian name. He's Canadian, it's, it's, he ain't gonna get it right. <laughs> it's Bagpipe. <laughs> Real name's Banjo, which hey, Banjo. is the nickname. Take that, and you gotta hold it fairly close to your mouth just because the background noise. Have you Tell seen, them who you are. Have you seen Talladega Nights? Who? Talladega Nights. I don't have, well, I don't think don't so. Know what to do with your hands. I was gonna do the bit in there, but I didn't know if you get all feelings hurt. We gotta right, keep well, that, you, keep you, that very close. Tell them who you are. How you doing there? Where are you from? All right, so everybody just calls me Banjo. Uh, born and raised in Tennessee, but I now live in Alabama. And a uh, Marine. I was a Marine. Retired. Yes. Which, if you're a Marine watching, sorry that he cut, keeps calling us soldiers. I don't know if he's trying to offend the soldiers or offend the Marines by doing that. But we'll get him fixed by the end of the class. So if you come to next class, he'll call you a Marine instead of a Marines, soldier. soldiers, sailors, and airmen. I don't care about the rest of them. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How long have you been retired? I'm not retired. Oh, you're, so. not, oh, you're active duty. Nope, not active duty. So I had to get off um, after 10 years, basically because of medical. So uh, between who uh, Obama was president at the time, and I'd served 10 years, so I started doing contract work and some other stuff afterwards. So after 10 years, I went out and did a transition to do other DOD supported stuff. Okay. Have you got a dovetail here to show off yet? I ain't showing that off. No, you, know. you saw me. You saw me blow it up. Looked like I got hit by an IED. When oh. the time I was done with it. That would have been awesome. It's and he there. got it turned around. It would have been nice. It actually was because we beat it apart. I guess you'll can I tell the story? Well, first off, you gotta understand hey, you I'm tell the X the factor in this class. I'm the one he's always having to correct or or keep a keep an eye on. I'm, so, I'm the slow child. I'm in the faculty. So what he did, he turned it around like that. Because of the campers. I, I yeah. rushed it on the last part. So I beat it apart, put it back together, and with the exception of that piece that it broke off, I told him, I said, that turned out extremely well for the first ever dovetail. First, by a guy named Banjo. He's just he's just being nice about my needs, I guess. I mean, but it, how long did it? How long did oh, it take? Yeah, it took me. Well, you started it Monday morning, and I think you finished it this morning. Yeah. So no, the practice paid off. Didn't on take this. that long. So you want to tell them about the, your waste of materials? 
So in order to do this, you have to practice. You got to do a test. Oh, oh yeah. So I set a world record. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever set good records. So, anyways, you got to do this a bunch of times. I ended up doing this. To oh, third. wait, 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 wait! Before you tell them that, so he came to me and he said, "32." I said, "What are you talking it's 31. about?" Thirty-one. Oh, thirty-one. Sorry. So Americans what? Americans measure short. Yeah. What they have to do. They have to, there's six cuts when you make your dovetail. And the cut across the end being perpendicular is most important. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and you have to stay within tolerance on the six. And if you get five, you cut it off and start over. So he did one, and then he did another one. And then he did another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And he ended up doing 31. And I said, that is a record. So if I did one on each side, that was like 186 dovetails, but it's more than that if you include some of the double sides and everything. So it's nearing figure is at least 200 dovetails. I was kind of... You should be good at it by now, and you were. That, that, nope. That actually was really good. Had he not broken I, that well, piece I'd off... Well, I've never done a dovetail. I've done, I'd done a bunch of heavy timber joints, but this is like doing work under a microscope for, like, heavy timber. Yeah. So I'm not used to, like... I'm used to detail, but not to that level. It was something. To... Before I forget, anyone at home to say hello to? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to get my family on here because my... well, it's being it's, it'll go up there forever, so well they can go in and see. Well, it my after daughters the fact. were down. They want to talk to Possum. That was their reward. She couldn't sleep last night, so my family was wanting to talk to you guys in order to figure that out. I told you, tell the good nights. But anyways, I didn't watch the movie yet. The reference will probably come better on you. But I have two daughters, eight, six, and a son that's two. And they actually were the reason. So when I got into the Purple Heart program, my wife submitted the application because I wasn't going to fill it out. Because I, I was reading through the paperwork and I didn't want to answer the questions. So my wife answered it and sent it in for me to be here. So they're the reason why I'm here just for the simple fact they, they knew I'd love it. They knew I'd support Thank it. Thank you. Yes. Now, you gotta understand my wife, a lot smarter than us, probably the most patient in the world. She'll be a saint most likely. And then she just knew instinctively on what to do because she knew I would not take time away from the family to do it. So, and the girls are huge supporters of it. So even though they knew they would miss me, we talked about it before. Um, they they spend a lot of time to do. Don't want to miss anything. I'm gonna have to get like a bib for this thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you walk around like a neck. Tie it around your neck next. Yeah, time. you need like a neck brace with like a microphone holder or something. Yeah, we could get one. But anyway, yes, Hadley Ray. She's my oldest sweetheart. She she she's the one that's full of energy. Isla. She's she's the little little sweetheart. She loves woodwork. She helps me refurbish saws, like sit them in uh, vinegar and, and water. So that's how we teach chemistry and stuff like yeah. that. That's her favorite thing to do. So she spends the most time in the shop. And then my son, he likes driving nails. So he has his own little hammer. And he'll sit there and while I'm working in the workshop, he'll sit there and just drive nails or saw. He, really, he cuts a straighter line than I do. I'm pretty sure he does anyways. But yeah. I've seen your lines. Everybody should cut straighter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mike. That's his son. Yeah. Well, Jake pounds nails too. Huh? Jake pounds nails too. Straight? No. <laughs> can, can he tow one in? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> He's like, uh, I think he missed Drew. The last thing you, I, you need to talk to is uh, you need to talk to fellow vets. Did I ask you to address that? No. No, well, talk to fellow veterans that need to be here. So Whose uh, lives I, might not fill out for them. All right, so I'm one of those fellers who don't like talking about my history and all of that stuff, but this is one of those atmospheres to where... You actually come up here and the hey, work Lucy. keeps you busy. Lucy. So if you're the guy who's a busy body and has pretty thick skin not here. and intelligent if you want, he doesn't want to and not freak out when you get behind, it's a... I don't know if he wants to or doesn't it's, want it's to. It's a thing that they work too with left. Home. So He's one like of them. For a lot of us vets, it's pretty hard to keep a pace with younger, sharper minds, especially when you've been through a bunch. But as, as a vet, when you come here and you realize you're not 21 anymore, it's not the frustration that you would normally get in other programs. Trust me, I'm pretty much last at everything here. So it is therapeutic coming here, 
because you don't realize you're learning something until you actually see the result of it. And that's more therapeutic than anything else. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, once you get used to listening to Possum, it's it's a pretty enjoyable experience up here. That's Luther. That's his Possum. nickname, Possum. Possum. Because he's always making noise. He's always going through something. If you hear a noise, it's rattling. He's like having a possum on the farm. It just, we don't have possums just, up here. Well, we do. You got just one. one. Yeah, it's him. I, I'll explain it more to you later. All right. The camera. And that's what we all call him. And there's many comparisons. All right. There you go. All right. I got to go. Thank you. Yeah. Keep at it. Uh, let's come up here and talk to Chris. Chris is our Vietnam vet. Yes. Chris, you need to hold it really close like that okay. so they can hear you. Say hello to whoever you would like to say hello to. Hello to Joy, my wife, and uh, the family. You know, I'm from uh, uh, Pennsylvania, near uh, Logan to Pennsylvania, near State College. You in the Army? Yeah. yeah. What, what years? 66 to 68. In Vietnam? Vietnam. And what was your job? I was, my MOS was uh, military uh, uh, ammunition record clerk. Kept, kept track of uh, ammunition and ordnance. What did you do when you came back? Uh, I, I got out of the service and went back and got a job. Started working. I've been working ever since. <laughs> I'm retired now, though. How did you find out about our program? Well, I was watching uh, YouTube and I saw your name all over the place. And uh, you seem like a good teacher. I watched a number of uh, your videos and I learned things and I thought, wow, this is great, you know. I'm 76 years old and I'm still trying to do things, especially hobby things, things that relax you like woodworking. This is a good thing to do. So get your training here and get going. Come visit us. And the food yeah. was good? Oh. Food was excellent. <laughs> I'm a diabetic. You're just a little so, skinny guy so when you I'm came. I'm supposed to eat too much. <laughs> it's hard to stay on a diet. Hard to say no to it. Yeah. The girls do a fantastic job oh, in they there. They do, really. All right. Well, Chris, I'm glad you made it. Keep it up. We have okay. two more days. Yeah. Two more. All right. We're going to wrap up with talking to uh, Pierre, my friend. Jake, you make your way over. Everybody around here has a green shirt. We all look alike. Hi. So this is this is Pierre. I'll tell you who he, you you. I won't say, but you can look at his face, see who he looks like. Yeah. He has another name that he goes by when he's not around. Yeah. Uh, name is Drew Hillstrom. Um, from I uh, was born just north of Chicago. Grew up in Wisconsin. Um, live in northern Michigan now, in the Upper Peninsula. Do you have any brothers and sisters? A few. Yeah, I've got uh, seven brothers and eight sisters. So there's eight and eight. Sixteen total. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And who's your good friend that got you here? Uh, Jake Torola. I think you guys call him Torola. But yeah, we Jake, do. Jake Torola. Rolls off the tongue better. Yeah. Um, so I grew up with Jake. Um, same hockey team, Sunday school, the whole works. And uh, he got into woodworking as I did. And uh, he's a few years ahead of me in his hand tool journey. So, yeah. Yeah. Forward observer. Yeah, forward observer. He was in our class in 2019. He was here. And he came back as my assistant last year, Jake. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this has been fun. It's um, it's like when you're when you're creating a dovetail, you, you tune everything else out, and I, I love that. Like I've been going through a tough time in my life, and you just you forget about all of it. You just can, you focus on that. And can you tell me a little bit about your injury? And I'm only asking that because you're right-handed. Yeah. And you're doing you're doing work. Oh, this is my better is one. Is your better one? The better one. Okay. I'm gonna show them that first, and then I'm gonna ask you if you don't mind telling them a little bit. Of, so look at that. That Jake, focus. How is it? How is it? Is it, is it better than is it better than Jake's? Uh, I don't I got, know. I got a boo boo right there, but um, I'm pretty proud of this one. Jake never had big boo boos. Yeah. Jake did excellent work. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Now, he's right-handed, and I hope I'm not putting him on the spot, but oh, just these they understand they need to understand what you guys have gone through. So can you yeah. explain a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so I deployed to Iraq in uh, 2006, and uh, month 12, I was walking back from mission, and I got hit by a roadside bomb, and it got um, right elbow, shoulder, my whole right side got uh, full of shrapnel. And so I've had 37 surgeries or so, so to date. So yeah, it's been a long journey. I saw the, he showed me the x-ray of his arm, and it looks like if you put your hand into a box of 
of spi uh, uh, spikes and grabbed hold of it, that's what it looked like. There was just pieces of metal everywhere. Yeah. But pushed through it. Yeah. Did fantastic work. I don't think it slowed you down at all. No. Obviously not by that. Yeah. You want to say hello to family? Oh, hi, Liz. Harvey, you better Dexter, just do immediate family. Also, we yeah, could be no, here just a while. my wife and kids. Oh. I uh, can't wait to see you and show you what I've been working on. Yeah. Now you got, you, one, you, much, got, you got one more thing to talk. Yeah. First of all, the food. Yep. How was it? Un undersold by Jake. He, he, he talked it up, but it's been absolutely incredible. Every single meal is like, oh, been better than the last. Been awesome. Yeah, they try. Yep. And the last thing I want you to do for me is talk to fellow veterans who need to be here to benefit how you have benefited. Yeah. If you have an inkling that you might get the bug for woodworking, apply. Don't even think about it. Just apply. It's been absolutely incredible, and uh, you won't regret it. We actually had a lot of, I was surprised how many people we had this week who had never done any woodworking in their life. Yeah. So they were coming in bef before novice. And uh, I, I'm excited about that because we, we, we hoped, the goal was to introduce people who didn't know about this as an option or a way of managing their day-to-day uh, -day struggles. Yeah. So the fact that we're starting to reach that community that doesn't know anything about woodworking is fantastic. Yeah. Final thing, we, we, these are the people that support us and allow us to run our program, yeah. enable us to run our program. Anything you want to say to them? Yeah, thank you very much. And if you think at all you're limited, um, I just broke my collarbone. I'm going through narcotic withdrawal, so I don't feel very good, but I'm still able to do it. It's not, don't let any limitations set you back. Just go for it. Wonderful. So, and you're a hockey player. That puts yeah. you on a whole new yeah. level of yeah. awesomeness. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, we got to see Sean. Need, need hey. you for a second. All right, I'm here. So, if you've been uh, following us, you know about the Sean Shim, and it's quite possibly one of the best additions to our our uh, dovetailing process. And our dovetailing process is all about enabling other people to be able to do it and do it well quickly so they don't have to wait 15 years. And Sean came up with it. John took my class in 2017. He was in class number two. Mm -hmm. And uh, got to know him there. He came up with an idea and it took a while to percolate and eventually we turned it into a product. We call it after him, and the rest is history. History. Talk to the camera, say hello to whoever you want to say hello to, and just kind of, you need to, I also want you to address the, the uh, veterans that are watching this based on personal experience and what you've experienced sure. this week. So, Rob, I'm sorry, Rob was never able to cut a dovetail before I created that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I was, I was in the class in 2017, and being autistic, anal, whatever I am, uh, I felt like there's got to be a better, better way than the marking gauge method. So I came up with this idea of making a little offset gauge to help with the offset method of, of uh, Rob's technique. So, like Rob said, it percolated for a little while, and three years or so, we came up with we came up with the final product, and and here it is, in all its glory. So that's my claim to fame, right? Um, so, like Rob said, I was here in 2017. Uh, it saved my life. Um, any guys out there watching right now, if you are a combat wounded vet, apply. I'm telling you, um, it's 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 an incredible program. Um, so, on top of that, um, I got so much out of it, and because I did, I wanted to give back. Rob called, called me and gave me this opportunity to come back as an uh, assistant instructor, and I'm so glad I did. I'm really glad I did. It, it's given me a chance to, to give back to guys that are in the same shoes I was in, you know, five years ago or so. Um, so if you're if you're a combat wounded vet, it sounds like an infomercial. You know, buy the against your knives. Um, mm -hmm. Apply to this program, and uh, you will not regret it. You will not re regret it. You're obviously watching this because you're in interested in woodworking anyway. One of the masters of the universe here, get to learn from him and get the benefit of, of all the other He's stuff. He's talking about you, Luther. Right. Um, so yeah. He said, Masters of the Universe. I said, he's talking about you. Uh, anything else you want to say? Yeah, hello to your wife. Oh, hey, wife. Um, 
So I don't know if, I don't know if Angela's watching, but hey, baby, I'll love you. Be home in a couple days. Uh, I your dad's watching. I think my dad might be watching. Love you, Dad. Uh, I'll holler at you in a couple days. See how you're doing. Mom, you might be watching. Love you, Mom. Um, anybody else I know might be watching, but I can't remember your name. Love you, too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Awesome. I am not a newsman. You're not I'm a, a man newsman? On the street. <laughs> you could be. And you've had, a, you've had an opportunity for a whole week to work with your partner over there. Luther? Yes. How's that been? That has been enjoyable and tiring. <laughs> L- Luther's incredible. Um, excellent craftsman. His, his, his skills are... are Above and beyond, um, and he's he's a riot to be with. He's he's cracking jokes all the time. He's fun. If things get you know too serious, he lightens it up. He, he's he's great to be with. Yeah. Well, our program is where it is largely due to what he has done. So we uh, oh, we owe it to him. Thank you. Thanks, John. I'm glad you came. I'm glad I came too. Yeah. Uh, before we leave. Oh yes, Tom. So, just a quick little one. I want to say we have some wonderful customers. So the guys, we fly them into Bangor, Maine, which is about a three-hour and ten-minute drive. Three-hour, three-hour. Obviously, drive, Jake drives faster than I do. Three-hour drive from here. We arrange, try to arrange to have them all fly in at the same time. Wires get crossed, and they end up being there an hour and an hour and forty-five minutes before I was going to get there. And apparently there was no Uber there, and they were hungry, so they had no way to get to a local Wendy's to pick up some food. So I remember talking to Tom, who was a customer of ours that lived down there. So, and I knew exactly what he would be like, because he'd already volunteered to help if ever needed. So I called him up and said, Tom, it's Rob. Told him the situation, he says, I'm four minutes from the airport, love to do it. So he drove over. Picked a couple of them up, took them to Wendy's, helped them get their, get their, picked up their food, brought them back. Tom, thank you. I appreciate it, and they appreciate it. Now, we have, uh, how many, what are we giving away? Luther, you got a number for me? You ought to come over and say something. Hey, what? Bits. Pardon? Read this, from, read this from Andy Whitaker. Oh, Andy. Andy is... Uh, CJ. CJ's. So not sure if you're filming, but I wanted to pay for a vet entirely. Wow. So I did give $7,000 tonight to the, for the cause. Keep it up, brother. I love what you guys stand for. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Andy. We're, we're at 8,400 right now. 84? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's eight... Uh, yeah, you, 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 you say some stuff. Uh, to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. the, only, the only other thing to say is thanks for everyone who gives. Without your support, this is not possible. And uh, whether you can help us by spreading the word, by doing a donation, whether that's a $1 donation or something bigger, we really, really appreciate it. If, uh, if you haven't gone to our yeah. PHP website, please do so. And that is the... Thank you. PurpleHeartProject.org. So go there. You'll find out all about the program. Lots of stuff. You can do applications there. You can donate there. You can set up a reoccurring monthly donation, which helps us the most. Uh, and you can uh, see our wall of heroes, which you can see everyone that we've uh, has come through the program. You can see all of our bench deliveries from the Bench Brigade. Thank you, Bench Brigade, Jack Lane, and everybody else. Lots of volunteers out there helping. So uh, just thank you for everyone because it's a completely volunteer organization uh, serving other words, serv- serving others. We serve those who serve, and it's a. Uh, and I just thank everyone who makes is, it possible. Are the, is the application window still open? Yes, the application window for 2024 uh, is open through the first of July. We have. One more selection, and that selection will be for 14 slots, seven in the September class, and seven in the October class. What about, what about the job that we have posted? For the interpreter, so that we can all understand it? No, no one so far <laughs> has applied. Oh, no. And we, you have, to go, that one. you have to go through the testing, and you have to see if you're a qualified interpreter to, 
Uh, and if not, then we have to school you on speaking speak Southern. Pig English. But so far, <laughs> ain't nobody qualified to the basic level hey, that we can even get this schooling. Can you tell them where we are to date? In what? F in funds, funds raised. Well, I don't, I don't know exactly where we are now, well, but I'll tell you quarter. where we went through first quarter. So first quarter, uh, we came in at about just under a hundred thousand ninety nine and some change, which was great. Again, thank you all our supporters. Uh, we were hoping our goal was eighty seven five, which would put us at uh, twenty five percent for the year, and we made it up to uh, twenty nine percent. So we're on a good curve right. Right now, uh, if we stay on this uh, donation curve, for the very first time in PHP's history, we could uh, have enough donations to 100% pay for the program. So again, I appreciate all the donations. Please go in if you're considering doing a donation. Go to the purpleheartproject.org, click the donate button, consider giving us a reoccurring donation. It surely helps. Food. Sally May. Sally May is a great cook, and if, you, if, if she would release her beef stew recipe, I'd be a happy man. She keeps it a secret. Right? So here you go. All right. All right. So Jake's giving me the wrap it up. Uh, we have eight gifts to give away. We're going to do uh, three quarters, three quarter cross, or three quarter dovetail. They can pay. Okay, so we're going to give away eight. How are we going to do the draw? Is he here? We're going to, it's going to be a little bit complicated because Frick is not on site. We're going to, uh, we're going to do the draw for eight three-quarter saws. That's our miniature, dove, well, not miniature, three-quarter size. And you have your choice, either choosing the dovetail saw or the small crosscut saw. Beautiful little saws, they just cut like a dream. 15 thou blade, 19 thou kerf, straight as an arrow, sweet. Made it specifically for doing small dovetails, boxes. So Frick, uh, Frick, Jake's got Frick on the phone and he's pulling out eight names. So, oh, I, don't, I guess I don't need that. Is he all ready or can I say something else? Are you ready, Frick? Hey, Moosey. I want to bring your awareness to this while you're waiting. This is Sleep in Heavenly Peace. This is a charity that we've, we're about to open up a chapter of. We build beds for children that do not have a bed to sleep in. Check it out, Sleep in Heavenly Peace. It's actually shpbeds.org. There's chapters all over the United States. If you have any woodworking skill, even if you don't, it's something can you really use your help. As many as 10%, to actually it's as high as 14%, 10 to 14% of children do not have a bed to sleep in to call their own. So check it out, please. Okay, first name. First name. You gonna announce it? Dale Rice. Dale Rice in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. Dale Rice in Wisconsin, first winner of a three-quarter saw. You next. Angie, I'm sure, is watching. Angie, hi. Angie takes care. And there's the reason why everybody's in a nice T-shirt that was beautifully folded and packaged. Angie and Lynn are Ken's cousins. And Angie's in charge Paul of Laws t in the UK. Pardon? Paul Laws in the UK. Paul Laws in the UK just won a saw. His name is Paul Laws. He's in the UK. He just won the draw for a three-quarter saw. Do you know him, Paul? He's from the UK. He's from the UK. Same first name. They must know each other, right? Steve Smallwood in Alberta. Steve Small? Steve Small in Alberta. Congratulations, Steve. Eight saws. Eight saws. Mackay Airy in the U.S. Mackay Airy? Airy in the U.S. Mackay Airy in the U.S. Congratulations. Michael Delvoy in Wisconsin. Michael Delvoy. Well, that's a familiar name. Congratulations.
The drum is rolling. William Downing, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. William Downing in Lancaster, PA. Congratulations. What's that, six or seven? I don't know. You can count. Hey, don't give away a hundred. George Harnden in Florida. George Harnden in Florida. Florida. You know how it says Florida? Jerry's father. Morty. Morty Seinfeld. Congratulations, George. Rick Feldman. Rick Feldman just won one? I was with Rick two weeks ago. Rick in Florida. Congratulations, Rick. I think he actually said he's never won anything of all the times he's been on. Rick, if that's true, I think we had that conversation. We just, we were even. Thank you for your support. Is that it? All right, we will see you in two weeks. Actually, a week from Saturday. And it's uh, going to be a busy time. We've got our, our next class is coming up next month. Stay tuned. We appreciate your support. Big thank you. And uh, take care. We'll see you soon. So did you guys hear that? No. So uh, the vet that is responsible for CJ? Yes, sir. CJ being here? Uh, Andy Whitaker. Andy Whitaker just donated eight.